Hey everyone, it's Aiden, back with some hard-hitting case journalism here. Um, so, my Edwards came with this BAM classic tenor case. I think it's a slightly older one. I'm really not sure. I don't know. I can't tell these generations apart. I've had two base BAM classic cases. Um, there were also slightly different generations. Both of them died to zippers. So, we'll see what happens in this case. Um, first, let's talk about what it's got, and then we'll talk about what it's not got. Um, first of all, it's a small-ish case. Um, we'll compare the size here in a second. It's got two handles. It's got zippers. They're actual YKKs. That's kind of cool. So they're real zippers. Um, it's got attachments here for um, backpack straps, quote-unquote, or just the shoulder strap. Um, and it's got this pocket on the outside. Um, thankfully, I found my earplugs case here. I was wondering where that was. All I have here right now is a couple of loops and some stuff the last guy left in here. Not sure that's in there, too. So, going on to the inside. Ta da! Instrument. So, here we go. We have my T350 in here. Um, mouthpiece, slide, and a little accessory pocket. So, Maybe you guys have noticed what this case doesn't have. Let's first compare it size-wise to the king of cases. Marcus Bonner, base trombone case. Now what you may notice is that at first glance, the, the band looks a lot smaller. It doesn't have that big side pocket, and the develop section doesn't flare out as much. Um, it might be just a little bit smaller, like through here, the base trombone case. But if you look past the accessory pocket on the uh, Marcus Bonnet, which does collapse down. Um, the backpack straps, which you know are kind of necessary and really don't take a lot of space. These cases are very similar in size. Um, this one's like a little bit taller. That's not a dimension that really matters. Um, it's almost exactly the same across the bell, which is kind of interesting because this holds instruments that are inch larger um, bell size wise, and it holds any bass, which is kind of nuts considering this would not even get close to fitting a base. The Marcus Bond is also shorter. Overall, it's a shorter case. I don't know why this case is this long, actually. Um, so, already we noticed some things that the BAM is missing. The BAM has this long pocket on the outside that is the perfect size for literally nothing. I don't know what you would put in this, in this pocket that would take up this amount of space. Obviously, I can put plenty of like small things in here, um, but it doesn't have a lot of room to expand out. Especially with the zipper done, um, this is a very kind of static size pocket and it doesn't really go anywhere. You can easily overload this by putting something in that's too wide, then the zipper wouldn't shut. Whereas the accessory pocket on this is huge, it opens up all the way. I can put a ton of stuff in here, it expands. Um, I can put uh, entire books or music in this pocket. Super handy, and it also, if there's nothing in it, is not very large. It collapses all the way down to the side of the case. It doesn't really give way if it gets caught on stuff. So, huge point to the Marcus Bonnet here. Um, I do like this arrangement on the bottom better. Um, I've had these handles kind of start to break apart and not be very comfortable after a while. Um, I've got attachment points for a shoulder strap here. Um, the, seriously, one of the biggest things on any case that I really like to have is a handle on the end. So when you have it on the bell, you can just pick it up. Because a lot of times when you're walking with the case, you don't have it on your back. I, I will put it down on the bell because it doesn't take up a lot of space and you know, move it with this strap. This doesn't have anything. It just has a little, uh, has a little ring for a strap on, which is not fun to carry it with. And then of course, uh, one of the main plus sides of this is these nice backpack straps. Very comfortable, um, with nice spacing. It's well set up to be comfortable. You can technically put backpack straps on this, but all you have is these two attachment points, one at the top, one at the bottom. Not very comfortable. And then, of course, going to the inside again. Let's see if the horn does it. Oh, it didn't do it this time. The the actual uh, bell section is not secured by anything. It has a lot of wiggle room in the axial direction, since this axial valve is the axial direction. And also when you open it, and this has happened to me before, hey, there it goes. It'll open up on the wrong side of the case. It's not supposed to be over there. 
thankfully, I don't think there's any way for it to hit. Ooh, it can. The, uh, the trigger here can slide down and hit the slide where it's sitting. Um, I don't think anything else can get dented or anything, but I can easily ruin my slide if I open this case and this fell on the slide. So, for some reason, there's no way to secure this. It just kind of rattles around. I don't remember having that problem with my bases, but uh, it's a problem in this case. Um, this is kind of janky. This thing just kind of sits here and it can easily fall out and land on my slide. Again, getting more dense my slide. And then the biggest problem, of course, is there's no accessory room at all. I have this little tiny pocket that fits my get grip and I guess he would fit like my mouthpiece or something if I decided to put it here instead of right here. But I can't fit anything else in here. Everyone say hi to my cat, John Luke. He's new to the family and he's very interested in this case. So, there you guys go. Some pros to this case. It's pretty small, it's pretty light. Um, a ton of cons. I'm really not a huge fan of this case. I'm probably gonna get a Marcus Bona for this. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed my hard-hitting um, journalism about cases. And say goodbye to John Luke. See you guys next time.